Hi everyone, I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the May Nightworms package. Uh, I think I remember what books are inside of it, but I can't remember the theme, but we will get to that. Here she is. Okay. What is in... Oh, I was ripped that. Good thing I didn't. Okay, cool. Two books in here. Um, the first one is Jawbone by Monica Ojeda or Ojeda. I feel like Ojeda. I've heard about this. I've heard that it's good. So I was really excited um, to see this in this package. The synopsis says, when Fernanda and Elise and their friends from the Delta Bilingual Academy convene after school, Annalise leads them in thrilling but increasingly dangerous rituals to a rhinestoned, Dior-scented drag queen god of her own invention. Even more perilous is the secret Annalise and Fernanda share, rooted in a dare in which violence meets love. Meanwhile, their literature teacher, Miss Clara, who is obsessed with imitating her dead mother, struggles to preserve her deteriorating sanity. Each day she edges nearer to a total break with reality. Interweaving pop culture references and horror concepts drawn from Herman Melville, H.P. Lovecraft, and anonymous creepypastas, Jawbone is an ominous multi-vocal novel that explores the terror inherent in the pure potentiality of adolescence and the fine line between desire and fear. So this sounds like uh, possibly a spooky coming of age story. I don't know. I'm into it though. My cat White Fang, we, I bought a new laundry hamper months ago uh, and she just likes to lick it and there's no reason I like sprayed it and cleaned it off. She just likes to lick it. So I don't know why, but if you hear licking, <laughs> that's what it is. So dumb. All three of these demon cats followed me in here so they can yell at me because they've never been fed. Unfortunately, they've never been fed in their lives. Um, they've definitely not been fed, so <sighs> they're very upset about this, as you can tell. The second book here is Just Like Mother by Anne Hel Helzel, and the synopsis for this says, the last time Maeve, <gasps> oh my gosh, that's my sister's name. I never seen that in anything. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to tell her about this. The last time Maeve saw her cousin was the night she escaped the cult in which they were raised. For the past two decades, Maeve has worked hard to build a normal life in New York City where she keeps everything and everyone at a safe distance. When Andrea suddenly reappears, Maeve regains the only true friend she's ever had. Soon she's spending more time at Andrea's remote Catskill estate than in her own cramped apartment. Maeve doesn't even mind that her cousin's wealthy work friends clearly disapprove of her single lifestyle. After all, Andrea has made her fortune in the fertility industry. Baby fever comes with the territory. The more Maeve immerses herself in Andrea's world, the more disconnected she feels from her life back in the city. And the cousin's increasing attachment triggers memories Maeve has fought hard to bury. But confronting the terrors of her childhood may be the only way for Maeve to transcend the nightmares still to come. Spine Chilling and Sharp, Just Like Mother, is a modern gothic novel from a fresh new voice in horror. Huh. I can't really, um, get a feel for what this might be like. This has been on my radar, um, mostly because of the cover. Yeah, this sounds great. All right, we also got a big, hmm, a big, uh, thing of coffee from Bones. This is Peaches and Scream, medium roast, small batch. Interesting. I'm not, I'm thinking about how that might taste. And you know what? I'm not really sure, but um, I do love peaches a lot. All right. And for the rest of the goodie bag, Okay, so the um, theme this month was Blood Ties. Maybe I should open this first and tell you guys that before I read the books, but I am not doing that. Um, so this is the great bookmark for this month. Beautiful. There's a signed book plate by Anne Heltzel. Oh, and there's a little note by, um, from Anne Heltzel. Huh, I don't think I got a, um, like a card that has all the goodies listed on it and like where they're from unfortunately um so 
I think this is from A Stranger Dream because I'm pretty sure I have a bookmark that is this from A Stranger Dream. And then also this sticker that says The Night Shift. <laughs> I don't know what it means because I don't have the little card that tells me what these things are and where they come from. That kind of sucks. I wonder if nobody got one or if it's just me. Did it go in a book on accident? No. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, I guess that's it. Let me know if you've read either of these. Uh, I would I know Jawbone's been out for a while, right? I think. Okay, um, so I was looking I was looking at this a little um, closer to see when this was published and it says that this was originally published in 1988 um, but this is the first uh, English language edition so this is translated by Sarah Booker um, I'm assuming this must be oh okay um, it was first published in Spanish it looks like uh, the authors from Ecuador Cool. Okay. Wait. I'm confused about this. No. <laughs> the author was born in 1988. This came out in 2017. Oh my gosh. I'm just really fucking everything up about this. Um, so anyways, this is a translation. Um, uh, it seems, looks like the author is Ecuadorian. And that's it. Now I'm really done. So I'd, I'd like to know if you've read either of these and um, what you thought about them. And I'd like to tell you thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. There's Baron. Here Baron. Come here Baron. Do one good thing in your life. Here's little baby Baron. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye!